Here's some evening entertainment for the development team. So the new new document here that we have is the role allocation. So I'll just go over what all the roles are that we're working on right now. So for, on the CNC torch table, we've got Chaz, Abraham, and Oliver. On the extruder, we've got Abe leading the team with Dixon, Joseph, and Cassie. Jose's working on a website for the 3D printer. Marchin, I'm working on the print cluster, getting a bunch of our printers working and printing parts for the next workshop. Lashlo, we started talking about a 3D printer construction set workbench within FreeCAD. Frank, I requested the instructional and draft draft path array, uh, which is a tool in FreeCAD. Roberto, uh, he's done a good job on a language agnostic instructional, so I asked him to do an instructional video on how to do that by extracting nice isometrics and making IKEA style fabrication diagrams. On the assembly simplification for the 3D printer, we've got a whole spreadsheet organizing all the different parts, the 40 parts of the 3D printer, as, as well as moving on to the assemblies right here. And we're basically simplifying the assembly so they can be very manageable as an overall file, because right now a lot of our assemblies are on like the 5 megabyte level, so 10 of those makes for a file that's altogether like 30 megabytes, which is too big, so we want to simplify those. Uh, that's the next big task with Israel, Cedric, Io, uh, having allocated some tasks to him, to those people. And that's about all for now. So the main task is to simplify the CAD on the, so we can make large designs of 3D printers within FreeCAD without getting bogged down in files. Like for example, the, the 30 megabyte file takes two minutes, 10 seconds just to open that file up. So that's pretty much unmanageable. That's why we're doing the grand, grand reduction. And that's about it for what we're all doing. Um, uploading the meeting from the meeting video right now. And otherwise, uh, let's keep going on the 3D printer and take a look at this role allocation, which is a separate document on the network.opensourceecology.org. Thanks.